Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today, we're reading for August 7th and 8th, Wednesday and Thursday, from my Tauruses. Hello, my Tauruses. So, I hope things are doing really, really great for you. This is Wednesday, Thursday reading. I use my Radley Valentine Archangel Power Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused the deck with Reiki energy, but remember... This is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. Now, August 8th, and I, I mentioned this a couple, of, um, a couple of videos earlier ago, that is the Lion's Gate. I'm not, I'm not an expert with this, but what I can tell you is enough to be dangerous. I have posted some articles on my Facebook, but you can also go online and just type that in and look that up. But it is about, you know, it, it's about that Galactic New Year. It was a portal that opened July 24th, and it, it's at its open, its height, at on August 8th. And it's about lots of changes, lots of changes, very positive. But change can be very stressful, too. Now, what else is new, right? Now, it's supposed to close, I think it's supposed to close August 12th or maybe the 14th. If, if it is the 14th, and that's in alignment with our full moon. But, um, you know, take a look at it, because it, it, it is going to be a very strong energy day. Now, three cards face down. The first card is reversed. Oh, no, that was very weird. I picked up my glasses. We're going to start with the third card because I picked up my glasses and for some, you know, somehow it did this and it flipped it. So let's go with this first card. I think this wants to be seen. Okay, the first, well, this is the third card, but, you know, this is the one that was very bizarre. Two of Gabriel. Now, okay, Two of Gabriel is our fire energy. It is our Leo. We're in Leo season. It's that lion's gate. You know, it is also our Aries, our, our Sagittarius. It's very, very strong and passionate energy. And this is about, you know, this is, this is about, you know, I'm feeling very much in alignment. This is, you know, these two people are walking very much in alignment. They're, um, you know, they're barefoot, but yet, well, I don't even know. If, yeah, they are walking, and here's the walking, and here's the angel that's watching over them. It's almost like, even though you're, they're not part of that rainbow, is you know, is is you know, just like reflection. But it's almost like there's this protective bubble over them. I'm, you know, this protective bubble that's keeping that negative energy away from them. So, make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision. So, if you are somebody that has, you know, you know, be around the people that support you. Be around the people that, you know, are into the same things that you're into. Um, but yet, at the same time, I feel that this is, you know, I, I don't, you know, I mean, I don't feel that this is so much with family. I don't feel, you know, again, but a, relationships can be any of this. And I don't feel so much, I mean, it could be, it could be that intimate, but I really feel that this is like, this, you know, this is more of a, a path of being seen. Is this, this is a path of, of, um, you know, it, it, it's, it's just odd. Okay, maybe the words will come to me in a moment. I'm just going to go on. This one is also, this one is reversed, and this is the six of Michael. Michael is air energy. This is your mind energy. This is your Wi-Fi. This is your Libra, Ver, Libra, Aquarius, and uh, your Gemini energy. This one, it's the light at the end of the tunnel, Okay. This one, you know, breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans, relocation or travel. This, this is, this is just, this is like be around the people that that feed your passion. Okay, be around the people that can help you get up that ladder. Be around, and it's not using anybody at all. But it, again, it's like you're going. It's like you are absorbing their energy. It's almost like. You know, I'm not, you're not being an uh, energy vampire or anything, but it's like, it's like your, whatever it is your passion is about, it, it's like this blossoms it, 
that, so this two, these two days could be very, very good, very positive, strong days for you. And it's, you know, and it's based, go, be bold, go, go bold, go bold or go home. Okay. It's really very strong. Both of these days are very, put it out there, put it out there. Okay. Last card, the seven of Ariel. Now this is your energy. Okay. This is also Capricorn and Virgo energy. And this is, yeah, you have invested wisely. Have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. So really with these two cards and this, it's like this is where, this is where you're going. You're, you know, we've been seeing this. We've been seeing some changes happening. And it's like the time is now. Now, please, if, if you go, oh, but Deb, I had a cold. I missed it. No, time, change it. You know, what, what's supposed to happen is supposed to happen. But it's almost, I feel like it's like, own this and now start and, and make plans as though you own this. Okay, it's very strong for who, whatever Taurus this is, it's extremely strong. Own it, claim it, own it. Okay, I know it, it's, it's very, very strong energy. Um, and then make your plans for because you own it okay so i hope that makes sense to somebody out there but it's very very strong energy you know you own it you make your plans for beyond that now and it may, you might be like but it hasn't come to me no oh, no no negative you own it you own it okay so my tauruses as always oh one other thing too i'm sorry i don't think i mentioned this but i will i am posting this a little bit early earlier i usually post them more on monday evenings but this is posted on sunday because i'm traveling all day monday so just be that, that, that's why i'm doing it this way but my tauruses as always know that you are loved and be blessed bye bye